It is a, a video demonstration of clinical palpation for physiotherapy for the forearm and wrist. So this time we cover only the forearm, not including the elbow yet. The forearm, uh, I start with the inferior radio outlet joint because this joint injury, I'm quite interested. I call it a chicken wing joint because when you eat the chicken wing, remember the middle part of chicken wings, two bone form together to form a joint. That's how I explain to the patient. This 2D joint spring, it affects the end of range, supination and pronation. They cause pain or laxity. How I confirm it, I do two fingers, slide on the forearm, get some pressure all the way slide to the down, then until you feel the junction here, you feel some tenderness here. Normally, the ligament also have some tenderness, so you look for the comparable pain. And in here, on top of this joint, these two styloid pulse in between, there's a groove this is the group for few tendon expressly for the extensor carpi ulnaris. This is the main stabilizer of the wrist. So any injury, they will overuse of this tendon. Use the tip of the thumb, you can feel the tenderness here. Draw a line here on the head of the radius and the outer bone and draw a line here to the base of the carpal phalanx. Then this is all the carpal joint you need to look for if any you suspect any carpal joint spring. For the palpation and accessory movement, easier to do in the flexion position. We all, most of the time, 90% do on the dorsal side rather than the palmar side. Then we see the accessory movement, which bone is spring or painful. When turn to here, then the radial styloid pause is a common condition. Is the decurring syndrome. It frequently happen in the new mother okay, the, due to the hormonal change this one prognosis is not good so not much we can do for pain relief but the daily activity modification to avoid the pain and then also for some workers they do a lot of hammering action remember to feel the radial collateral ligament if any tenderness pain here okay and also uh, the thumb extensor, the tendon, okay, hold up as against me, okay, you see any tenderness here as well. Some very rare case, then you need to feel the skateboard, if this pain or intense pain, sometimes it's Mr. Skateboard fracture. It's very uncommon, usually, nowadays they do two, two x-ray, then um, not easy to miss it, don't worry. Go further down, sometime after the fall injury, they feel the pain here. This is another one very prominent joint for the uh, cricket falling sport player. Then they spring the metacarpal phalanx joint here. Then we can feel the tenderness of the ligament here. Okay, go on this side, the palmar side. Very common uh, condition called carpal tunnel syndrome. But uh, when I was a student, I usually think it's uh, about this wrist line. No, to palpate this carpal tunnel entrapment is usually like here. Then base of the thumb and the base of the uh, hypophenia, then you find here instead. And here, usually we look for a lot of different trigger fingers. Trigger finger, although the patient complain the kicking locking on the distal interfinancial, but uh, they when they happen to feel the tenderness, most of the time is on the base of the phalanx okay so here um, not base head of the phalanx is that then you can feel the tendons around here then on this outer side outer side then we find a very typical injury here is a tfcc joint spring also use the tip of the thumb press on the just distal to the ulnar sinoid pause then you find tenderness here and then confirm with push ex with weight bearing uh, with extension then you can find it also the collet ulnar collateral ligament tenderness here so oh, these are the forearm and wrist palpation